you working? Yeah. Being a little worker girl? Oh, type away. It's about to be gym time. After we drink our pre-workout. And then wait 30 minutes. Really anticlimactic gym time, but. Hang on, show my fresh new cut. Fresh new cut. Boo! What do you think? Is it You're too so short? Fresh. Is it too short? I don't think so. No, it's okay. But today I am doing glutes, completely glute isolation, very minimal quads, calves, everything else. Glutes and hamstrings are my two main isolation muscle groups today. And I know there's a lot of fancy, like, glute isolation cool workouts online on YouTube, on Instagram, the whole nine yards. But I'm going to show you the five staples, in my opinion. You can add in the cool fancy looking stuff on top of what I'm going to show you. You don't have to incorporate these in all of your glute isolation days. However, I like to start off with big compound movements and then go into that accessory work in order to get the best glute workout. So the first one I'm doing is just regular deadlifts. And you'll notice that I'm gonna show you guys two different styles of deadlifts today. You'll see the difference. One is regular deadlifts and then one is straight legged deadlifts. For each deadlift, you want to focus the weight on your heels and squeeze with your glutes the entire time. If you feel it in your lower back, you might be doing too much weight. I am by no means a deadlift expert. However, I have been working on my form for a few years, working on my strength, and working on focusing on squeezing the glutes the entire time. So, I'm going to do regular deadlifts supersetted with straight leg deadlifts. Those are my the first two exercises that I really highly recommend you guys adding into your glute days. If you don't have a glute isolation day, put it in your leg day, whatever you need to do. I will then show you guys overhead walking lunges, which I feel is a huge staple in overall glute development. And then you'll see the other two exercises after I show you guys these three. So incorporate them however you want. I will just show you what I'm doing. Again, you'll also see me doing like these fancy, cool, weird, not normal glute workouts to try to isolate the glutes. Some work, some don't for some people. That's totally fine. However, these are staples. So, let's get to it. Staples. So the first two were the different types of deadlifts, and then the third one was the overhead walking lunges. You can do with dumbbells, you can do that with a weight on your back, you can do it with dumbbells at your side. The best way to isolate the glutes is either on your back or over your head. The next two, the first one will be glute kickbacks on the cable machine. You can do it either standing or on a bench. I'll show you both ways. And then the last one is hip thrusters or glute bridges, whatever you want to call them either with the barbell or on a Smith machine or unweighted on a Bose ball. There's literally a million different variations of all of these exercises, ostensibly. 
but I'm just showing you the most basic rudimentary fundamental ones in my opinion. You might have a different opinion, that's fine. You'll notice I'm not doing any squats. Squats are a great leg exercise, but they're not a glute isolation workout. No matter what anyone tells you on Instagram, they are a great overall leg workout, which yes, that does mean your glutes will be targeted, but your glutes will not be isolated. So just keep that in mind. So I'm gonna do the cable kickbacks first and then work on the glute bridges. So. Uh, Alright, hold it. Up, up, high, higher, 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 hold it. 